what's going on guys ant here back with another video and today ea dropped a bunch of new receivers for man 22 i honestly don't know if it's like the top receivers in the league or not league in like the the game's ratings because julio they put out first is the 86 overall we're gonna go through all these players and see what they're looking like i said receivers because i'm pretty sure they added a couple tight ends in here as well so i don't want to say wide receivers and tight ends i'm just gonna say receivers but if you guys have not already, hit that like button and drop a sub. I greatly appreciate it, guys. Stay tuned for Madden 22. We are officially one week away until Madden 22 comes out, guys. I'm so hyped. I cannot wait. But boom, here's Julio. This does not look like a bad card whatsoever. I wish they could Photoshop him, you know, into like a Titans uni. But yeah, I guess it's fine. But it does match the card art, which is nice. But 84 speed, 87 jumping, 84 catching, 84 catching traffic, 84 spec. 84 short, 83 medium, and 80 deep route range. Just a solid overall wide receiver card. Definitely not a bad card, but definitely not great by any means. It's a really solid card, though, not gonna lie. Then we have D Hop, 84 speed, 89 jumping, 85 catching, 86 catching traffic, 86 spec, 84 short, 83 medium, and 83 deep route range. Just a solid overall receiver. Not really nothing crazy. I mean, D Hop really isn't known for speed, but I feel like they can at least give him like 85 speed or so, maybe around there. Some of these cards I already went over, but there are also some new ones. I just want to go over all the cards in general. So you guys have watched this video and be like, Ant, what are you doing? You're, we already seen all these. There's some new ones, so stay tuned for those. But D-Hop does not look bad. Then we got Tyreek Hill. Um, definitely went over this card. I, I really hope I could pull this man day one, bro. I really want this card. This card is going to be so good. Second fastest receiver in the game. A9 speed. 84 jumping, 80 catching, 79 catching traffic, 81 spec, 84 short, 82 medium, and 89 deep route range. Just a solid overall card overall. Just I really like this card. I really hope I can get this card. He's gonna be probably like 200,000 coins. He's gonna be really expensive, but it's gonna be worth it. It's Tyreek Hill. Then we got Travis Kelsey. All these cards I already went over, but if you guys have not seen these already, sorry if I'm going a little fast. I already made probably one or two videos about each of these cards, so sorry about that. 81 speed, 72 strength. 87 catching, 84 catching traffic, A6 spec, 88 short, 85 medium, and 70 run blocking. Please do not get this card. Go get the rookie premier Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is 10 times better than this card, bro. Please go just go get Kyle Pitts. Kyle Pitts is just better than him in everything, which is weird. Then we got Devontae Adams. Okay, we're not going to click on the card, I guess. I don't understand why they hate Devontae Adams and cannot give him good speed, bro. 84 speed, A6 jumping, 88 catching. A6 catching in traffic, A6 spec, 88 short, 88 medium, and 82 deep route running. He should have, he should be faster and have better deep route running. Devontae Adams is a great route runner. Probably one of the best in the league, if not the best. And his speed should be higher, bro. I think he should at least be A6 speed. Maybe I'm crazy, but I think he, at least sh he should at least be A6 speed. I cannot talk right now. But really low card. I do not like that. Speed is way too low. It's way too low. So here's a budget beast right here. Also, I didn't even shout out Mortality. Shout out this guy for posting all these screenshots of all these cards. Really appreciate you. But here's Marquise Brown right here. Obviously a budget beast, 88 speed. If you guys have not played Madden, this is your first Madden. Speed kills. So make sure you guys go after some high speed receivers. That's what really matters. 88 speed is beautiful. 77 jumping. I mean, I don't really, I really don't care about the route running. Route running really just matters. For the abilities, honestly. The abilities and X factors. That's what really route running, at least that's what I think. Route running only matters for like the abilities and X factors. Speed's the main set that I look at. As long as you got good speed, I know you're going to be good. So it really don't matter. Speed and Excel, really. So for that, 88 speed, obviously, is beautiful. On a gold, which is awesome. Then we got um, a core rookie, Jalen Waddle, also with 88 speed. I don't know why. This card art just looks so nice. I don't know. Some of the border... And the dolphins like turquoise and orange i don't know something about this card looks really clean to me for some reason but again 88 speed route running is really not that good but he's gonna be able just to fly past the corners so for that it's a beautiful card right there then we got noah fant see this i'm talking about receivers 84 speed tight end which is really really good to start the year speed on tight ends is gonna be really hard to find unless like you're like kyle pitts or darren waller or something so 84 speed on a gold is really really good he has decent um, route running as well. And, I mean, run blocking is 58, but anything over, like, 50 is good for, like, a um, like a receiver or a tight end. So, for that, it's not a bad card by any means. Then we got Michael Thomas, superstar MVP. So, it seems like we know Terry McLaurin has one, Michael Thomas, and Saquon Barkley. And it seems like these cards have their built-in abilities. So, Michael Thomas has route tech, which is obviously really nice. I might actually get this card. 
when the game comes out because route tech is gonna be so good bro especially with michael thomas because michael thomas is always good in madden 85 speed 87 jumping 87 catching 88 catching traffic 86 back 86 short 86 medium and 81 deep route running a really really solid card overall I'm not gonna lie to you I, which is surprising he doesn't have a power up I, he better have a power up michael thomas deserves a power up i think but this is a really solid card overall and he does have the built-in abilities which is really nice throughout the year because training is hard to get in the beginning of the year so for that that's why these cards will always be good which is really cool then we got calvin ridley some lower overall receivers these are just some of the newer cards a6 speed 78 jumping 78 catching 73 catching traffic 76 spec 77 short 79 medium and 81 deep route running just a really solid card overall and he is route runner um what's, what's the word i'm looking for chemistry is that the word i'm looking for he is a route runner so that's good the a6 speed obviously is really good on an 82 overall just a really really solid card i expect to see this card a lot day one really good card then we got dk Metcalf. 83 i feel like it's kind of low for dk dk was a beast last year but hey i don't know it is mad and they are crazy 87 speed is obviously really good i expect to see this guy on a lot of people's teams 87 speed 87 jumping 78 catching 82 catching traffic 84 spec 78 short 75 medium and 80 deep routing just like i said just a really good card especially at an 83 overall really really good card bro then we have justin jefferson now this is surprising that he has an 83 overall justin jefferson justin herbert got a 78 gold but justin jefferson gets an 83 that's kind of crazy to me bro but 84 speed but she should be a little faster 83 jumping 81 catching 78 catching traffic a2 spec 80 short 78 medium and 80 deep route range just a really good card overall like they actually gave us some really good wide receivers this is actually a good card right here then we got amari cooper now uh, Coop's a little low i feel like Coop is low-key a little underrated for this 84 speed a2 jumping a2 catching 78 catching traffic 79 spec a2 short 81 medium and 80 deep route running on Coop. Coop should have a lot better route running. Coop's one of the best route runners in the league, bro. That's kind of disrespectful to Amari Cooper. And I'm a Giants fan. Like, come on. Then we got Darren Waller. Is this it? No, we still have a bunch of cards to go over. Dang, we're actually... We're, we're, there's a lot of cards they released today. I didn't even realize this. <laughs> but 84 speed on Darren Waller is too low. He should have 86 speed. Darren Waller is so fast, bro. 84 speed, though. Eight, 64 strength. 86 catching. 81 catching traffic. 80 spec. 86 short. 82 medium and 64 run blocking a really really good tight end now this guy i'll go after him or kyle pitts these guys are probably the best tight ends to start off the game both these guys are really good cards not gonna lie to you both these guys are beasts bro not gonna lie and i've not seen a george kittle so i wonder what they have george kittle ranked as then we got stefan diggs this is just a nice solid overall receiver just really solid overall 85 speed 83 jumping 82 catching 81 catching traffic 85 spec 83 short 84 medium and 86 deep route running on stefan really good card overall is that it and i'm pretty sure it's just a center okay so they released the levante david 80 speed 85 play rack nice power or is it is it power moves or hit power why do i forget i'm pretty sure it's power moves that's block shed zone just this is this is kind of, he's kind of slow but it's decent i guess then we got jason kelsey center and it's just a decent card overall nice run blocking decent pass blocking this is this is a decent card overall but who knows how important and linemen really are though honestly but this is a short little video if you guys did enjoy hit that like button drop a sub i would greatly appreciate it guys i'm so hyped for man 22 i can't wait to see the corners i want to see what james bradbury is i might guess that james bradbury bradbury is at 85 or an 86 i really want to see that card it's really bad but hope you have a blessed day peace